In this video, we want to enter a standard invoice that was received from our supplier. So we go to Payables Vision Operations and we want to enter the invoice. So we go to Invoices, Entry, Invoice Batches. And I'm going to call the batch name EYE batch dash 001. If I scroll to the right, I can see a few more details, invoice currency. So I'm going to enter USD, payment terms, immediate, standard as the invoice t type, and then pay group. I'm going to use my pay group, just alpha pay group. Leave payment parity as is, GL date payment currency, and I'll leave everything as is. This form is what is called, I mean, this folder here gives you what is called a folder view, and you can add more fields if you see this icon. So if you click on the folder tool and click on show field, and there's no additional field, otherwise you could add some more fields in here. You could also remove fields, so I could decide that I don't want to see this field. I can use tools, sorry, I can use folder, hide field, or I can use my tools here to hide my field, and the field disappears. Let's hide another one, hold name, and the field disappears. Hold reason. And you can move fields around. So if I want to see my payment terms or invoice currency, I can drag it across. There we go, payment currency right there in the middle. So I can move this across here. Let's move it across. And I can see my payment currency. Let's add the operating unit as well as vision operations vision operations and if there are any other folders so you can actually open an existing folder if there is some if there are some that are saved you can also save this folder view as well so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to enter an invoice so it's saved I'm going to enter invoice so let me close this folder view invoices So invoices for my vision operations operating unit and I'm going to enter my trading partner which is my supplier. Again this is also another folder view. It's giving me my supplier number, supplier site, all default heading, invoice date. I will use today's date as the invoice date. And then invoice number AS-1000. Invoice amount 10,000. And in my description field, I can enter a description of the invoice. I can just say marketing materials. And if I scroll to the right, I will be able to see other information. You see like my payment terms, payment method, have all been defaulted in for me. And if you scroll all the way to the end, you can also see this thing here called a DFF, descriptive field, flex field, which you can enter additional information if required. So let's cancel that. That's just to show you. save so what I need to do now is enter the lines for the invoice and the distribution so invoice will have a header will have lines and also distributions the counting is done at a distribution level so I'm going to select line 2 so a line can have multiple distributions So 
So the second tab, lines, amount for the first one, make it 4,000. And the distribution account, I'm going to be using 01. I can use 01 on my own account, which is 50. Alpha services, department 402 and the account 7110, which is advertising. So I want to charge it to two different, two different accounts, two different cost centers. So second one is going to go to another department, which is department 404. And the account is the same account, advertising 7110. Click on OK. Actually, let's change that to um, five zero, which is my alpha services. Save this. And this distribution will be used for all uh, for this line and the other one for the other line. So I want to validate my invoice. So I'm going to click on actions, validate, click on okay. You can see that it's calculated the tax 10690. That's based upon my location. So I'm just going to amend this. and actions uh, validate again. So now we can see that it's actually validated. So I'm gonna save this and I'm coming out of the form close the, form, uh, the invoice batches and that's how to create an invoice inside a batch. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.